healers welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today we have another fun pick a card video and this one is all about what's next in your love life okay whether you have someone or not maybe you just want to know what's coming next if you stay with this person or if you don't have anybody what is coming for you this is the video for you okay and i hope you enjoy this there will be few cards here and i just wanted to concentrate in one of the piles or the crystals those are all pyramid crystals okay group number one will have the moonstone if it helps you holding on to check the crystal here it is okay moonstone group one lapis lazuli group two hopefully you can see lovely one and group three with the amethyst crystal okay lovely one so if you want to pause the video if you want to concentrate like i normally say your first choice is most likely the right one you go with your gut feeling concentrate on the person if you have someone or on yourself what's next in your love life and like always my details the cards that i use timestamp everything will be in the description below if you want to contact me if you want to have a private reading something very specific for your situation i do private readings all details uh, below as well if you want to support this channel or if you want to the cards that i use for yourself all the links are there okay the timestamp will be on the description and on the first pinned comment like always and if it does help you in some way if it if it resonates in any case do let me know leave me a comment you know i'm very happy that you're here with me you support this channel and i really try to respond to all the comments i normally go back to them as soon as i post the video i'm there online as well so if you're early you'll most likely get a response from me really quickly but in any case if you leave me a comment most likely i will respond back to you so thanks very much if you do that you know if you're not yet consider subscribing many other fun videos here for you uh, pick a card videos yes or no for the week weekly readings like week ahead readings for you and the uh, deck reviews many more and if you wanted to just suggest something for the pick a card if there's something you want me to add here as a video i'll be happy to get your suggestions again leave me a comment okay one more time here this is group number one two and three timestamp below thanks for watching group number one if you chose the beautiful moonstone pyramid it is here to help us out what's next in your love life we have the queen of pentacles we do have the temperance card also six of pentacles and the seven of wands we also have the sesquisquare <laughs> i'll read for you in a bit we do have the feminine polarity And we do have uh, be supportive. Also, the union of hearts. And also, evolution. Okay, I'll read the message, the full message in a bit. Just to check here straight away for you. Group one, just organizing here for you to be able to see everything. Great and we do start here straight away okay with the queen of pentacles very interesting here the queen of pentacles bringing a more secure time in your life okay more security even financially as well but it is security like being happy with yourself with your surroundings with who is around you so whether you have someone or not you will get to that point okay of feeling more secure in your love life very soon and bringing balance as well it's interesting here the balance is really represented here two times with the temperance and the six of pentacles okay there's there's a give and take here of a relationship as well so if you are in a relationship right now and uh, are just wondering what's happening there will be a period of more balance maybe it was a little bit out of balance until now and you had to defend yourself defend your position speak up stand up for yourself on this relationship and be honest but if you're not yet, this is the time to do it, okay? So you can bring that balance back if you don't have that to the relationship and stand up for yourself, stand up for what you want, not fight or anything, but really being able to stand up with love and communicate better here, okay? But if you don't have someone, a more balanced time, someone that can actually 
uh, have that give and take on okay on the relationship helping you out in in different areas of your life not just uh, you know the emotional side but being able to be there for you someone like that can show up for you all right and uh, very soon because i feel like you will be feeling very content with yourself very soon here with the queen of pentacles being the first card so this is something that is coming very quickly but that the balance is going to come back here in case like i said you are in a relationship and it's out of balance so you can bring that back or if you are just alone and waiting you will bring that balance of having a relationship into your life okay and uh, it's going to be someone that can really be helpful and be there for you but the the seven of wands is really showing that you need to stand up for what you want okay the want is really about the passions the things that you want to do so the communication needs to be there if you have someone or if you are maybe interested in someone, maybe you are looking someone and you didn't say anything yet, they don't know, or maybe you're not sure how they feel about you. This is about uh, a time for you to stand up and not be shy, not be afraid, okay? Just to stand up for yourself. And we do have here the feminine polarity with the in here, okay? It's saying introspection, contemplation, receive, accept, imagination intuition so this is really about having that uh, is the feminine energy okay whether doesn't matter if you are man or woman it's really about the in feminine energy okay the feminine polarity here so you need to be more on the soft side here and be able to to listen and and talk okay with uh, a more compassionate intuition here that you'll be able to take the other side as well that's why as uh, the card here the temperance as well and the balance trying to bring that back so i feel like maybe some of you have gone out of balance in the relationship or even if you are alone you out of you feel like you're a little bit out of balance and maybe you have been concentrating on yourself which is a good thing but it will have that other side as well okay of someone in your life for you to share maybe you have been doing things by yourself and uh, you you will have a chance to have someone that will actually help you and in, in many different areas of your life okay so we do have the sesqui square here which is showing here the message fear imperfection to acknowledge and transform so i feel like some of you i feel like this here this card is really connected with the seven of wands that maybe some of you have uh, had a bit of fear to like i say approach someone that you are interested or maybe talk to whoever is involved in your life okay right now and you did not have that chance or maybe the courage to stand up for yourself but this is the time okay like i said not with fights or anything but to take away any fear and acknowledge that it's a transformation period in this relationship or in your life that you will need to speak up and show up what you want okay don't be afraid use that feminine energy and the, the softness and the intuition as well but to not forget that you can speak up you can show up so maybe someone that you're interested like i said and uh, show some kind of interest from your side maybe they are not understanding your messages here because you have not been able to show up that you are interested or maybe you because you have been like uh, scared or shy and this is not the time okay it's really showing here that you actually have a chance to have this beautiful card here which is the union of hearts okay a love connection defines explanation so there is a love connection here that you shouldn't really uh, lose it okay there's a chance for you to if you not have already someone in your life to meet this person or maybe you already know who it is you're just not uh, together yet this is a love connection that defies explanation okay so you will know with your intuition here with the feminine polarity that this is the right thing for you the right person for you that you may want for a while but you didn't have the courage to stand up for yourself and show up okay so be there and be ready because this is a, a union of hearts okay this will be uh, back and forward like i said the balance will be here this person i feel like uh, if you have them already in your life and you know who they are they are already feeling the same okay maybe it's just something that you are not sure from your side but the cards are really showing balance which means from both sides here okay it's a give and take the union of hearts here is from both sides it's really beautiful this card here the connection is real here okay and uh, you can invest on in this if you want all right so and be supportive okay make a genuine effort to show you care again i feel connected with what i'm saying which is like showing up that you care that you care about this person or you know having a chance to talk and be honest with your feelings 
but also if you're already in a relationship to be honest as well and uh, be supportive of this person maybe they are going through a period of their transformation in their life here with uh, this card here representing and uh, with uh, showing that uh, to you know acknowledge and transform okay so there is a period of transformation if you're already with this person and understand to be supportive okay and because it's a balanced time here you will get the support from their side as well so you can expect that or like i said you can stand up and be honest saying that you need help as well you need that support for your side as well you know so don't feel afraid to show them what you need as well be honest with your feelings with your emotions here like i said use the feminine polarity okay that soft gentle intuition but also is standing up like the seven of wands so it's a balance here it's showing the feminine side and the seven of wands so you need to find that middle ground here to be able to communicate here with love but honesty okay that is above everything but being the queen of pentacles you really will be happy with the situation very very soon okay whether you are in a relationship or not whether you are just starting with someone or you're just about to meet this person, there is a real connection here, okay, with the union of hearts. So this is a beautiful thing here for you guys. And we do have here the evolution, okay? The card here, the message is, you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. So very interesting and beautiful card here for you. Maybe you have gone through some obstacles, whether, like I said, you are in a relationship and have gone through some hard times here together, or you have gone through the times by yourself because you have been through difficult relationships in the past of course you know your situation guys like always take what resonates okay what i'm saying is just take these lessons okay as part of your path okay to finally reach the love and the connection that you're trying for a while and that you want really it's a good thing when you look back and you can understand and learn because then you don't repeat the patterns and you choose different okay because if you want a different result we have to change something right there's no point of doing the same thing expecting different results that really doesn't happen so if you want something different something has to change and this is the time here because there's a transformation period as well so like i said guys if you have someone okay it's a time that will bring, bring more balance for you okay a, a beautiful union here of the hearts and if you're not if you don't have someone you do have the chance here to meet it or to finally uh, stand up and show that person that you are already interested you will realize that they actually interested in you as well okay so there is a balance here so it's a there is both sides here okay so the union of the hearts both sides are interested in this case okay be supportive be there for this person okay show that you care show that you love and you will be able to learn with your past learn with anything that had happened so far in this relationship or in previous relationships so you can move forward okay and have this beautiful period here so it's lovely here guys group number one the, it's a beautiful progress here in your love life okay there is a this beautiful union of the heart here coming for you like i said whether you're in a relationship or not there is this union waiting for you to achieve on the relationship or to meet with this new person coming into your life so stand up for yourself guys don't be afraid like i said to show up to speak up with love so that's what i have here for you group one lovely cards for you like always, take what resonates, and if it helps you out, if it resonates in any way, do let me know, leave me a comment, you know I'm always happy to hear from you, and like always, I hope you have a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group number two, if you chose the beautiful Lapis Lazuli Pyramid, leave here to help us out. What's next in your love life? We do have here the Seven of Pentacles, also the Emperor. The Four of Wands. Make sure you can see everything. We also have the Sun. And we have Virgo. I'll read the full message in a bit. We also have the North Node. And we do have uh, Appreciate This Moment and demonstrate love we also have commitment i read the full messages of all the cards in a bit interesting here for you group two straight away with the seven of pentacles here it is showing that you have been working hard in this situation okay whether you are in a relationship or not you have been working maybe on yourself or trying to 
build your confidence and trying to organize the things in your mind, trying to bring manifest this relationship into your reality or, you know, get to a better point of your relationship. Okay. Having that connection, trying to move forward here, whether you have someone or not. So what is showing here that it is finally time for you to start seeing the results of your hard labor. Okay. You will be able to reap the benefits of your hard work and uh, it, you're going to get to a point where you finally have the chance to, if you're not have yet to meet this person, okay? It doesn't mean man or woman. It's really the energy of the emperor. So someone who is stable, who knows what they want, who goes for what they want, okay? They're not afraid to speak up and secure. Maybe a little bit hard head as well, okay? Just to pay attention to that. But um, in any case, to be there for you and protect you and the organized and more in sync with uh, their feelings and their emotions and the really committed as well okay it's very interesting here depend if you already have a relationship and you have someone that doesn't really represent the emperor yet maybe there is the benefit of the hard work that you have been putting so far this is what you will see so you'll see this person getting more secure Okay, happy with uh, their feelings and being able to communicate better, more stable. But this is really progressing here, okay, guys? Because the four of wands here really represents the celebration, the better times to come. And even um, marriage uh, celebrations like marriage, okay, for some of you, weddings, really representing that here as well. So depend where you are right now, okay? So depending where you are on the relationship, depend what you want. So if you don't have someone, you have a chance to meet someone and get, uh, you know, get someone that who is actually committed and wants something serious and eventually, you know, something serious like marriage in the future, or even if you don't want like a marriage specifically, but getting serious with someone, okay, more committed. If you are already with this person, you could really expect here if something that you want is, is a wedding, is, you know, getting married, you have this here as well coming, okay, four of ones here celebration. Because right next to the sun, it's really showing the happy times, okay? So like I said, guys, like I always take what resonates. But what I'm saying is, wherever you are right now, you have a chance to progress to this beautiful potential here of celebration, happy times, okay? Even marriage, wedding for some of you. But if you're just meeting this person, or if you're just alone waiting to meet someone, you have a chance to meet and have someone who is actually more committed and serious. And what, you will have good times and celebrations, like going out and, you know, getting to know each other's families or no, celebrating, having good time as well. Okay, happy times. That would also represent if you're just meeting someone, okay? So don't think it's all marriage here, depend of the situation, of course. And um, if you're just meeting someone, it means like you'll have good times together, you know, going out uh, and parties, that kind of thing. But happy times with the sun here. In any case, if you're already with this person and you're not serious yet, you have a chance to get serious. Or if you just start, you get the chance to get more serious. If you're already with them for a while, there is a chance of, you know, real commitment here, marriage and all that. So take what resonates, depend where you are, you'll be, there will be some progress here. Okay, we do have here the North Node the message the evolution path the way to flow again what i'm saying is like this beautiful flow here of celebration happy times like more commitment and finally like i said starting straight away seeing the results of your hard labor so if you have been putting time into this relationship or maybe putting time into yourself healing from past relationships trying to get ready to like meet someone or going out or doing your part of being happy with yourself you will see the flow, okay, of the doors opening to meet this person or to progress in this relationship, wherever you are, okay? We do have here also Virgo. So maybe that is your sign or maybe that is the sign of the person you have in your life or you're going to meet. Or maybe this is someone who is Virgo or maybe um, Earth sign, okay? So it could be Virgo or Earth sign. We do have this sign here as well. And the message is take care, take care of yourself. Question yourself improve yourself and that's what the, i i mean like uh, the the relationship will improve but also take care of yourself okay so don't forget about yourself in the process and if you don't have someone yet take care of yourself and the door will open okay so you will see that process going so don't forget to take care of yourself as well in the meantime and pay attention if maybe virgo is a sign or someone earth sign okay just pay attention to that so and appreciate this moment 
we have here every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. I feel like this is really connected for the, the four of one, with the four of ones as well. If you have not met this person yet, so don't uh, leave the moments pass you by. If there's a chance to go out or there's a chance to go to a celebration, to go to a party or wedding. There may be the chance that that's where you're going to meet this person. Okay, so I feel like that's the case for some of you who are still looking and you don't know, or maybe you're already interested in someone and this person will be there on when you go out. Okay, so there's a chance to be there. So every situation is an opportunity. And in this case as well, if you're already in a relationship, okay, the situation should grow the love that is already there. So I feel like connected as well with the seven of pentacles, the work that you put, it's growing. So slowly, okay, like... Uh, nice messages, not forgetting about the person or something small, okay? Anything, any gestures that can grow that love slowly so you don't forget they know that you care about them and you appreciate these moments with them as well, okay? And uh, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Again, connected with demonstrating love being there for someone so if i feel like if you're already in a relationship this is clear you know be there for the person the small things like i was saying here this one these two are very much connected be there for the person and show in the small things that you care okay it could be just a message that you send to this person in the middle of the day and they will be you know feeling happy that you actually care you remember them or if you are just uh, meeting this person if it's new to demonstrate the love to not forget to show up and uh, if you want to really for this to progress and grow, you be honest and show what you feel, okay? Not being afraid because we do have beautiful cards here showing celebrations and happy time here with the sun. These two cards together really, really complement each other with the, like beautiful happiness opening for you here. So beautiful cards here for you guys. We do have also here commitment, you know, the, the message here, you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being beautiful car here commitment again guys showing that this relationship can get to the commitment okay whether it's new or you are already with this person is progressing okay so wherever you are is progressing and dedicate yourself to the beliefs okay of your heart knowing that love is the essence of of this situation of what you actually want here if you wanted this to progress if you want this relationship to grow okay to just Keep planting, okay? Even after you have the results of what you're planting, you don't just give up. You keep, you carry on, okay? Taking care of that plant, taking care of that relationship. Don't forget that. So beautiful cards here for you guys. And really to be there for this person, okay? To show up. So it could be that you have been going through some hard times, whether you are in this relationship or you're just dealing with yourself, with healing, past healings, or anything that you be, be in need to take care. Because it's saying here to take care of yourself as well so don't forget that okay so if there's anything to be done from your side and something that you need to take care of here in your heart in, in your mind just uh, don't forget to speak up with love here okay demonstrate the love because sometimes we really love that person that is around us but if we don't show they don't know and then you know there could be some resentments and something that could be growing there for no reason okay don't forget to demonstrate but take care of yourself because you can really only love others when we love ourselves when we are taking care of ourselves okay so don't forget that but in any case guys beautiful four of wands celebration here like i say gatherings okay if you are going to parties if you have a chance to meet this person if you don't have them yet or if you're if you know who they are but you're not together there's a chance okay for you guys to be meeting here and having this connection again and um or if you're already with this person, really a chance to progress here, even to weddings and, you know, marriage for some of you, okay? So don't forget that. But the sun is here, guys, really representing happy times in your life. So what's coming here for you? Really beautiful, happy times here, okay? Take care of yourself. Don't forget to show love, demonstrate love to the others, whoever is around you, if you have this person or not. Love to yourself first and then others. But beautiful here with the four of ones and the sun. Beautiful, happy times coming for you and commitment is coming, okay? So, so this is a serious relationship. So commitment here for you guys. So very interesting here, group two. I hope you like this. This is what I have here for you. Again, I hope it helps you in some way. And if it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. And like always, I hope you have a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.
Group number three, if you chose the beautiful amethyst pyramid, we leave here to help us out. What's next in your love life? We do have here the wheel of fortune. Also the word and the knight of wands. Make sure you can see everything. We also have the Queen of Swords. Interesting. We also have the Masculine Polarity. You guys got three cards when I was shuffling this one. So we just see here we also have Venus. Interesting. And Pisces. We also have here the Speak the Language of Love. We have get to know each other and harmony. I'll read the full message to you in a bit. Very interesting here, group three, straight away. Okay, we, we got the wheel of fortune and the world, okay? Which is showing like anything's possible for you at this time, okay? It's finally time to turn that wheel around and bring things. It could have been ups and downs so far, whether you are in a relationship or, or alone, or you have been through relationships in the past and, the, you know, the situations have gone up and down, up and down. It's finally time to, to close the cycle, okay? And you're closing a period here. You're completing uh, a phase in your life with the word card as well. And you're finally being able to move on here. Okay, you do have the Knight of Wands, which is really a chance to meet someone if you don't have someone yet. Okay, very passionate, knowing what they want, really maybe really think moving really fast here as well. Or if you have someone to pay attention if they really get to this point or if they are ready, it are like the Knight of Wands here, okay? Like very passionate with their feelings, with their emotions, you know, a passionate, fiery relationship that it could be going quite fast as well. And maybe you're a bit scared or maybe you're going with the flow. You see your situation here. Like always, guys, take what resonates, but really to pay attention to this, okay? So this this night can become more serious, but they are not yet, okay? Like a night, it's really the fire that fast like but they can come fast and they can go fast as well okay it's just the energy of the card it could be male or female doesn't matter who you're thinking about okay it's just like could be fast could be you know fast and furious like that the fiery thing but pay attention to bring that down a little bit if you want to see something serious okay or maybe you just wanted to enjoy this phase and that's fine but it's really bringing here the queen of swords for you which is asking you to also use some of the reason, some of your you know, intelligence and clarity here to not just go with the flow, with the emotions of the rush, to just bring a little bit of the sword of the queen of swords here and you know cut away something that could not be serving. If you wanted to bring this into more serious, because I feel like it's not very serious at the moment, or if it's just new, it could be just it's just new, you're just getting to know each other, or you will meet this person here, the fiery knight of wands is coming into your life, okay? Like I say, male or female, guys, just the energy of that passionate person, okay? They speak a lot and they know what they want and they know they can persuade you, but to use a bit of your logic as well, okay? You can be there, you can enjoy that, but don't forget to use a little bit of your intelligence and, you know, logic as well in this case. We do have here the male polarity, okay, the young, and it is the exteriorization, action, emit, give, reason, reality. Again, here connected with the Queen of Swords. So it's asking you to use more of that masculine energy, okay, of being uh, reasonable, okay? So using your reason and seeing the reality of things, okay? Action as well. So stand up for yourself, speak up if something you don't want or something that you do want, so speak up, okay? But we also have Venus, okay? So I feel like it's connected with the person, the passion of the, what is coming for you. Whether, you, like I say, you are in a relationship or not, the Venus, the passion is coming, okay? Relational, emotional, love, pleasures, beauty, creativity, the lover, the girlfriend. So I feel like the lover is here, okay? Uh, whether it's boyfriend or girlfriend, it's really like the lover, the chance to be here, to enjoy that love, that passionate relationship. I feel like it's really here. 
okay something that is beautiful in the creativity as well emotional the love is there okay guys it's, it's really a beautiful period it's like maybe that the early stages for some of you or you can bring that back into a relationship if, if you're not in that early stage anymore and you think like like i said you're closing one cycle that you will move maybe back into this this time okay enjoy yourself and we do have pisces which pisces here could be your sign could be their sign or maybe they are a water sign okay with the water symbol here so it could be just a water sign but the message here is connect to your intuition to art to your imaginary word okay again guys is showing that uh, to find the balance okay because we do have the the passion of the venus of the knight of wands and the water okay of the pisces but we also have the queen of swords so because we have the two extremes here it's really asking us to bring a middle term here and find a bit a bit of balance okay so if the, whether, whether this is a new relationship and you're just jumping into it closing your eyes and going with the flow or if it is just a case of you meeting someone new or you already have this relationship that you want to close maybe a boring phase or something that sometime that you were working too hard and you couldn't concentrate on the relationship you want to close that and be more focused on the relationship and have that love grow this is a, a beautiful period that you can have that okay you can have loads of love and passion but also don't forget to have a bit of balance with the queen of swords here and the, the energy of the young the masculine polarity okay so there are two sides here of this relationship whether you have it or not is coming for you okay you're definitely meeting this knight of wands here like i say male or female okay it's, it's, it's coming in your life some of you have already in your life so you probably know what i'm talking about who i'm talking about but it has been up and ups and downs because of these extremes as well so i feel like the the two relationship the the two minds have a bit of extremes here okay your side their side loads of emotions here with the water side so maybe the two of you uh water sign or water sign ascendant something that is really emotional connection and uh, also it's hard when you're trying to communicate so the emotions pour out and you don't communicate properly because you have that passion but when it's time to speak you don't know how to communicate properly but just remember you do have the queen of swords here it's asking you to bring a little bit of that masculine polarity and you know bringing reason action reality into the situation as well so it's really in other words bringing you asking you to bring balance okay don't forget when this relationship comes to you or if you're already there just bring a little bit of balance here okay speak the language of love the message here is loving words have the power to change lives including your own this is really connected i feel with the the way we're trying to communicate here to bring that balance okay so speak the language of love so you can communicate what you want you can stand up for yourself you can show what you want in this relationship and uh, not uh, compromise if if you have been hurt in the past and you know what you don't want you really wanted to concentrate and focus on having a different path here so you wanted to stand up and show what you don't want but you should show what you want as well in any case speaking with love okay speak the language of love because many times the way we communicate will make the whole difference here on how the other person will react as well and you will be able to whether grow with something or just cut away because sometimes depending on how we communicate we cut away okay we don't know how the other person will react here so just uh, loving words they have the power to change lives okay so i feel like if you wanted this to get to a serious point like i said you're closing a cycle of your life here maybe a cycle of this relationship you have you're closing this period and going to like i said more passionate period which it's getting into a more balanced time it should be using more of the balance trying to bring that balance but always speaking with love okay and you can transform if you have been hurt in the past if things didn't work well in previous relationships this is the chance here for you to turn things around okay like the wheel things are finally turning around and you can bring that into a more positive side a more positive relationship if you wanted this that uh, it could be new for some of you but to grow okay we also have get to know each other so learn to meet another's need for love okay so i feel like it get to know each other because it could be like i said it could be new for some of you it could be a new relationship or it could be a new phase that you needed to get to know each other a little bit better and work with each other's feeling feelings and getting to speak with love first okay learn to meet maybe meet in the middle find that middle ground like i said no extremes here 
that's why I feel like the cards are really coming like two ways. We do have like the Venus and we have the masculine. We have the Pisces with this water with, and, and then the sword. So it's really trying to find the, a, a balance here, okay? Get to know each other and spend time with this person if you wanted to get to know them, whether you, you have them in your life already for a while or not. It's asking you if you want this to progress, you have a chance to spend time with each other. So take the time okay to meet to get to know each other and you will be able to have progress here in this relationship because we also have harmony okay and the message here of harmony is you are able to feel a loving balanced connection with everything so i feel like this balance is what i'm saying here really connected with what i'm saying trying to bring the balance into this relationship okay because i feel like you will start very fiery and then you will need to bring that balance back. Communication is everything. Standing up for yourself, but speaking with love. And the harmony is there. I feel like this is a beautiful connection here, okay? You have the, the harmony coming coming here for you. So maybe I feel some of you could have gone through some hard times. Like I said, the ups and downs of the Wheel of Fortune here, there. But it's, it's coming to a more stable period, okay? I feel like you will enjoy yourself. You will have loads of passion and, and happy times. But you also have a chance to commit and have harmony and balance with this person if you want, guys. Because maybe some of you just wanted to enjoy that phase and you don't want something serious. But what is coming for you is a chance to enjoy some time, okay? But also get to a more balanced time and have harmony in this relationship if you let it grow, okay? So it depends on you guys, of course. Take what resonates. You know what you want in your life and you have it, you know, the, the power to change everything. But it's up to you. If you wanted to really continue here, you will have a chance to close this cycle, okay? Close this period of your life and grow into something beautiful here with this person, whether they are new or not in your life, okay? That's what I see here for your group three. Like always, I hope it helps you out in some way. Take what resonates. And if it does help you, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. So really, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to respond to you. Leave me your ideas. If you want different videos, come here. And like always, I hope you have a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.